I love this quote. A healthy person has a thousand wishes and a sick person has one. This is great that you guys are here because I know my audience. You guys are biohackers, so you're taking the proactive approach. And I'm honored to be here talking to you more about connecting everything together. A little bit about me. Um, I am a doctor of pharmacy, compounding pharmacist. I am a licensed pharmacist practitioner in my state of North Carolina. I'm also fellowship trained in uh, anti-aging and integrative medicine, board certified by American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. Um, and uh, I am a clinical compounding pharmacist as well, right? So, so many of you might wonder how I got into the functional medicine coming from the compounding pharmacy. So everybody has your why, right? This is my why my why of doing, being proactive and doing, turning my career um, into something that's a lot more meaningful to me. It goes down to my family. That's my husband, my teenage son, who just turned 14, and having a teenager is already a, it, it's a challenge, I tell you, and then my black lab. It all started when um, I first had my son, I went through some stages of hormone, hormonal changes for me. And it pretty much, the symptoms were, you know, it wasn't debilitating, um, but it did affect my quality of life. It affected my cognitive function. It affected my memory. And um, it, it got to the point where, you know, I just wanted to be a good mom. I just wanted to be a good wife. I wanted to be the best that I can be, and I just wasn't there. So eventually, and many of you guys may relate with me if you're a mom, right? Can I see a show of hands? Anybody who's a mom? I mean, it changes your life. Nobody ever tells you it's going to change your life. So like many others, and I was trained in conventional medicine, in conventional pharmacy, you go to your physician, to your GYN, to your conventional medicine doctor. And I was looking for some answers, some solutions that would be good for me. And of course, when I got to my GYN, I was telling him about, you know, I'm a little bit moody, a little bit, have some, have some anxiety, some, some, something's wrong with my mind, I can't remember anything, what happened to my memory, and I got, oh, it's just a part of life, it's okay, you're a mom, you have a lot of stuff going on, you know, it, this is it, just kind of deal with it, and I thought, well, that's not what I want to hear, you're supposed to be my doctor, right? And so I went to another one, and another one, and another one, so they either told me, no solution, live with it, or you know what, let me grab a prescription pad and you have an option of anti-anxiety or anti-depression. If you can't sleep, I'll give you some Ambien, okay? So being a pharmacist for many, many years, and um, I know I see my colleague over there in the back, I mean, we know about medications. We were trained on this. I didn't want it. I didn't want a medication to put a Band-Aid on my symptom. Do you know what happens? And many of you guys probably know this too, because when you get started on one medication, it's a Band-Aid to your symptoms. You're addressing the symptom. You're not getting to the root cause. What's gonna happen is the side effect of the first medication will have you be on the second one and the third one. And before you know it, you're on the 10th medication for one symptom, the original one, right? So one of my favorite patients when I was in um, conventional uh, pharmacy is Mr. Williams. So Mr. Williams was this enthusiastic guy. He had bright blue eyes, so witty, so funny, and he was such a compliant patient. You know, he took his medication when he was supposed to. He would come and see me every month getting his refill, right? So uh, talking to Mr. Williams year after year after year, and as he was coming in, he went from bright blue eyes to losing that, that life in his eye. He went from coming and walking in to see me to get his medication to riding on a scooter because he couldn't walk, right? His medication went from one to more than 10, and it was half the size of a grocery bag. And when he rode on his scooter one day, and this was the turning point in my career, um, he looked at me and I noticed his eyes, the sparkles were gone, the wittiness and the funny was gone. He had questions. 
He was wondering, what happened to me? What happened to me? What can I do? Can you offer me help? Offer me solution? And you know, it broke my heart because I looked behind me. That was all the answer I had were the bottles, the pharmaceuticals, the hundreds of bottles behind me. It wasn't going to fix them because the more he got on it, the sicker he became. <clears throat> so I knew I had to do something different. There has to be a better way. So my better way is looking into outside of conventional pharmacy. I found compounding pharmacy um, and personalized medicine, and I was helping, you know, myself. There are so many women with hormone imbalances, and um, you know, putting together the puzzle pieces into functional medicine. So I got my fellowship, you know, training, and I got more certification. I got educated, and that's how I arrived to where I am today. Thank you. Thank you. So, what's easier, right? Isn't this true? People are lining up, and nobody wants to do lifestyle changes. But you guys are here, so I know you guys are in the other line, right? So, thank you. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. I always, you know, it all starts with functional medicine, right? Yesterday, uh, during the panel, the question was, where do we start? There's so many different things out there. You know, what do we do? What do we do? We're so overwhelmed with everything. You guys, simplifying, I'm tr simplifying everything down. Go to the foundations, okay? So this is my foundation, is you've got to get individualized protocol. You have to get optimal nutrition and detoxification glucose and insulin regulation, stress hormone normalization, uh, hormone optimizing therapy, healthy gut and microbiome, and lastly, oxidative stress and inflammation. You address all of those things that we're gonna uh, go through each and every single, single one of them right now. Individualized protocol. We're all different, we're all unique. You know, so when you're talking about genetics, a lot of times people come up and say, you know what, my mom had this, my dad had this, my grandma, so I'm kind of stuck with um, diabetes in my family, hypertension, cardiovascular in my family. Guys, genetics load the gun. Epigenetics or environmental factor pulls the trigger. Remember that, if you remember anything today, you control the outcome of how you're gonna be. Okay, so when we talk about that, we're there. We have the technology. There are genetics testing. You can, you can get tested and see what you respond to, what you don't respond to. You can go as far as nutrition plan. You can get genetics testing for that and see if you're like a, you know, should you be eating carbohydrates? There's no guessing anymore. It is there. You just need to know where to look. Environmental factors and DNA, DNA expressions. So environmental factors would turn on and off your DNA uh, expression. So, you know, if you have hypertension in your family or cardiovascular, you can do something different. Let's just say new nutrition, and it will turn it off the gene, right? <clears throat> Pharmacogenetics effect on dosing and therapeutics. Anybody on medication? I'm not against medication, guys. You know, I, I, but I think you should think you should consider all your options, right? Use all the tools and, and you know, widen your toolbox. Use more tools, working together, but you know, get to the root cause. But, uh, but therapeutics and dosing is dependent on your genetics as well. So some people may respond to certain drugs and not respond to certain when it comes to maybe antidepressant or antipsychotic. Some people just don't respond well. And then, you know, instead of being on five different ones, if you do the genetics testing, then you can narrow down to maybe one and then work on the root cause. And when you're talking about customization and personalization, anybody ever heard of compounding pharmacy? Yeah? Yay! Okay, so compounding pharmacy, I hear, I see a couple of hands, and some of you guys are probably shy too, and don't want to admit that you know a ton. Um, but compounding pharmacy is when we personalize your dosing. So many things that we can do for you. So in your town, when you go back, Part of biohacking is to utilize and, and get more tools in your toolbox. Everything can be individualized. Talk to your compounding pharmacist. 
talk to them about functional medicine. Not all of them are trained in it, but a lot of them are. So, you know, they can be your, your, uh, your friend, your best friend in biohacking. So we can do different dosage forms, right? We can do uh, different dosing, delivery vehicle. There are different bases we can put things in. This is really the, the stable and the foundation of hormone replacement therapy, HRT, which is now I'm going to refer to for the rest of the talk as HOT, hot hormone optimization therapy, okay? You don't have to be 50 plus menopausal, perimenopausal. Oh, that's for that's for the, the women. No, it's for men too. You're gonna, you need to optimize your woman. It is part of being a biohacker. Uh, we use in compounding pure USP, FDA approved actives. Uh, be cognizant about your allergy profile. Are you gluten sensitive? Do you have a reaction to red dyes? Because you know sometimes if you have a reaction, it may be a side effect of a medication or it may be a side effect of the inactive ingredient. So do some digging, be your detective, take responsibility and take all of that to your own hand and be your own advocate on that. Off-label uses, it's been a crazy you know, couple of years and many drugs have off-label uses that we were able to utilize to help with many, many things in the past couple of years. So <clears throat> let's talk about the optimal nutrition and uh, detoxification. In the environment that we're in today, you've got to lower the burden, the toxic burden, and the um, what your body has to go through. So we start out typically when I work with a patient, um, you know, one of the one of the most amazing changes I see is really simple, is the nutrition. So, you know, a lot of times they say, do this diet, do that diet, carnivore, vegan, vegetarian, ah, oh, my goodness, that's just too many, right? So really and truly, you just avoid the inflammatory foods, right? Those foods are, I can name it, eggs, dairy, soy, corn, and sugar. Okay, five things, uh, there are many more, but let's just keep it simple. So when you're trying to really hone into your nutrition plan, avoid first off inflammatory food. We typically do it for about 14 to 30 days so that your inflammatory markers can calm down, right? <clears throat> and then you'll see a lot of your symptoms disappear. One of the patients I work with had severe hot flashes and before we even got to the hormones, because I don't like to just give somebody more, more band-aids, so that's another hormone band-aid. Let's really look at your nutrition. One, that patient got rid of her hot flashes and I hadn't even touched her hormones yet. It was amazing. Um, food elimination, learn how to do the food elim elimination in about 30 days. Just take it slow and you know be consistent with it. Recognize your sensitivity. People think that food allergy is the same thing as food sensitivity, it is not. An allergy is when you know you're thinking itching, nausea, you know, those things are allergic reaction, right? But sensitivity could be, for example, for me, gluten. Somebody offered me pizza before my talk. I said, no way. I need all of my cognitive function that I can that I can keep, you know, because I, I need to be sharp. But that's what gluten does for me. Um, it could be low energy for some of you. It could be nervousness. It could be, so those are sensitivity. <clears throat> Recognize what that is. And you know what, you don't really have to guess either. There's a test that you can do is at home, because today we're gonna concentrate on healing at home. You can do a food sensitivity testing with a finger prick at home, send it off, and the company would put together a wellness plan for you and you know exactly what food you shouldn't eat. And it changes every year, you know? So your sensitivity profile, if you can find a functional nutritionist, work with them. They're fantastic to work with. I have one on my team. So as you uh, lower your toxic burden, your body can actually begin to heal because it can concentrate the energy into healing instead of you know, producing more inflammatory markers. Detox supplements, so de detox, there's so many, detox is just being thrown around everywhere. I'm talking about nutritional detox, and you know, detoxification, there are different phases, one, two, and three. So there's supplements to actually help you boost different phases of detox. Because you gotta pull it out of your fat cell, right? Make it water soluble, that's phase two. And then you have to eliminate it out of your body, and that's phase three. If you don't support all of them, um, 
you're you're going to end up being sick because you're going to pull it out and then it'll recirculate around. So it's good to work with a practitioner, a functional practitioner with this who knows what they're doing. The sauna over there is fantastic for detox. And then your body will begin to heal. And it's a cycle because, you know, then, then you know, you go back again and see what your inflammatory food is. But hopefully you won't go backwards. <clears throat> All right. Glucose and insulin regulation, main key to anti-aging. That's why metformin, a traditional drug, is used in anti-aging. It does more than glucose and regulation. It does so, so many more things. Uh, blood sugar regulation, it, it, it's in charge of everything in your body. Um, normal does not mean optimal. So when you get your blood work, you know, do you get um, the blood Sugar, this is typically what they what they do, and sometimes they'll add the HbA1c, which is another one. But the uh, one that not a lot of doctors will get is your blood insulin. So what you want to do is you don't want to identify it when you're already pre-diabetic. You want to be proactive and know that you're kind of heading that way, and that's why you get the insulin level too. Are you heading that way? Are you now insulin, are you sensitive? So, you know, at that stage, you can still turn things around. It's a lot easier to do that. Um, it affects your kidneys, your weight, your oral cavity, your energy, all of this. Your insulin is a main key, okay? Uh, metabolic syndrome. So it doesn't have to be, oh, you're a diabetic. You know, have some patients come up and say, um, yeah, I'm not a diabetic yet. I'm pre-diabetic. And I go, what are you, what are you going to do about that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about it until my, my doctor tells me. Well, that's too, it's too late. Don't wait. If you're pre-diabetic, do something about it. Because once you become a diabetic, it is so hard to reverse that. I have a question. Um, let's hold it all question to the end, if you don't mind. Yeah? OK. Um, stress hormone and normalization. So, um, but, uh, but I do appreciate the question. I feel that then. Hold your thought. Um, <laughs> stress hormone normalization. Okay, stress hormone. Who knows about stress hormones? Yay, it's called cortisol. Okay, these two glands, adrenal glands on top of your kidneys, they produce your stress hormone. Cortisol is necessary to have. It helps you live and survive and thrive, okay? But you have to follow the bell curve. So... <clears throat> You have to produce cortisol in the morning to get you going, and then it has to slowly drop throughout the day following the bell curve. There you see where the dots are. And, um, and it needs to be low at night. This is, more, this is normal, okay? And we test cortisol. You can do this at home. It's the saliva testing. Or you can also do a urine testing. You can order this home collection, send it off. If you work with someone, they can interpret it for you. Um, this is so important because it... it uh, relates to your thyroid function. It also relates to your insulin regulation. This is a, this is an actual result. Sorry, it's a little blurry um, from one of my patients. So remember when I said it goes up in the morning and then it's slowly following the bell curve? Well, this patient here, this is a, a dry urine that we did. We wanted to know, you know, what your body is doing with the cortisol. Uh, the cortisol is it turning into cortisone. But for her, you can barely see, but the red line on the bottom, she woke up. This person was tired all the time. Low energy, no drive, just tired all the time. And it's been years since she's been trying to find an answer. We finally did this, and I go, well, no wonder you're tired. You're not really making any cortisol. But there are supplements and botanicals that you can do, uh, utilize, um, and also Tai Chi, just stress management, so many things that you can do to bring that back up. And whenever you're low in cortisol, your immune system goes, goes down too. So hormone optimization therapy, are you balanced or optimal? It's not about putting th things on, it's about optimizing even some people, you know, don't put any hormones on. The natural hormones that you're producing need to also be optimal, okay? So this is a, a dry urine test from another lab. And like I said, this one you can do at home as well. Uh, it shows, you know, a new balance. So you need to look at, this is an actual patient of mine too. So you can look at um, the production hormones, but also the metabolites. What is your body getting rid of? 
If your body is not getting rid of it in a proper way, in a safe way, you're going to have an imbalance and it can increase your risk of uterine cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer. It, this is not just for men, women, it's also for men. So all of you men sitting in here, hello, talking to you too. Become friends with your practitioner and see if they can run a dry urine for you. And if you are on a hormone therapy, birth control, you don't really think of that as being a hormone therapy, but it is. It's not bioidentical, it is synthetic, it doesn't act like a lock and a key. It doesn't do the magic turn. So uh, so something like that, you know, run a Dutch urine test as well. Normal hormone, low hormones, high hormones. This is why I say it's hormone optimization. It is not hormone replacement. Start young. Look at where you are, optimize that, and you're gonna be so much better. It's good for your cardiovascular. Your hormones just regulate everything, by the way. So uh, thyroid, cortisol, all of it. How about your gut? You think your gut has a connection to your brain? Of course. Your gut microbiome pretty much run your life. So with the way things are, what we're eating, you know, you, you can be destroying your gut eating inorganic food, you know, high glyphosate. They completely destroy your gut bug. Um, so your neurotransmitters are actually made in your gut. Your melatonin and serotonin, you know, Prozac as an antidepressant, it works on a serotonin, that's made in your gut, right? So uh, it's, it's super powerful when you can actually pinpoint and work on your gut. So we talked about all those things before, remember, and now we're down in your gut health. Um, your pollutants, your genetics, pharmaceuticals, and your diet change your, did you change your uh, microbiome. Did you know that obese people have a different microbiome they, they're higher in a, a certain organism than people who are not obese. It's true. If you run a stool test on people who are obese, they're high in formicutes. So um, just, you know, something as you're doing your own digging, don't forget the stool testing and addressing your, your gut health. I love, and people talk about probiotics, you know, I, I don't like to supplement my patients to death. Because um, I don't want to move you from pharmaceutical supplements and then you're on like 20 or 30 different ones just blindly. I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that. Before you know it, you just, you know, have a purse full of it. But uh, my favorite um, probiotic is a sporebiotic. And we'll talk about that later in, in just a little bit. So, scientists have identified the role of chronic inflammation as the cause of accelerated aging. This is an actual article. What do you think about that? Inflammation. What do you think? Why do you think you get inflammation, right? So it all, remember, going back to the detoxification and the food, whenever you're eating something you're sensitive to, whether or not you know it, your inflammatory cytokines and markers are going up. Your, bo your body is at war. Not only nutrition, blue, but also EMF, 5G. Anybody notice all the 5G towers went up in the past two years, they're everywhere. You can't escape it. This is a real thing. So if you really want, I mean, you know, incorporate into, into uh, biohacking, please consider, um, you know, the, the damage of the electromagnetic field and 5G and, and uh, radiation has on you. I mean, it's been shown to, you know, cancer, neuro, neurodegeneration, infertility, behavior, cardiovascular, all of it. So when do you escape that? Go to a you know, private island and lay on the beach. Well, I have a solution for you at the very end here, something you can do at home because healing at home is where it's at. So I just wanna kind of compile everything together. I mean, one common thing in a lot of chronic diseases, pretty much all of them is gonna be inflammation, right? So it's cardiovascular, diabetes, arthritis, Alzheimer, GI disorders, autoimmune. I mean, that's like one of the top killer on the top, and then the second arthritis is actually an autoimmune as well. So autoimmune it has just risen up so much in the past few years. And you know, I, I don't know who's had COVID here. I mean, you don't have to raise your hands, but we have seen a tremendous number of people post COVID with Hashimoto but they're not diagnosed. They're just tired, fatigue, like long COVID. They can't get rid of it, OK? 
Okay, that's very common. So now, um, so I've worked with a lot of practitioners and we do webinars and we talk to each other. And you know, so now if you, if you are suffering from that and you know someone who is, get them to run their thyroid panel, okay? And when I say thyroid panel, most doctors and most insurance will pay for a TSH and a free T4. You really need more than that. You need free T4, free T3, antibodies. Get your antibodies run, thyroid antibodies. Um, reverse T3 is a little bit more expensive. I, you don't need that yet, but um, get more than just the two markers, okay? A lot of people have Hashimoto um, and hypothyroid post-COVID, and that's why. So you can take all the supplements you want to, but if you don't diagnose that and change your diet, um, you know, a lot of autoimmune, that's when your body attacks itself, and a lot of it is from leaky gut, right? So you want to stop that, you got to fix your gut. You see how everything's related, right? Huh. There we go. So, whoops. Oh, now yeah, it's going back. So, you know, I just want to share with you some biohacking and upgraded key points that I think you know, it's worth mentioning for everybody. Please, you know, research these items. Uh, hormone testing, food sensitivity testing, heavy metal testing, all of these are probably not covered by your insurance, but invest the money, find the lab, do it yourself, figure it out, because you, you need that, at, you know, as a baseline. Even if you're asymptomatic, go ahead and run it anyway, because you could be proactive. Magnesium is one of my favorite, favorite supplements. Um, I think everyone is low in magnesium. The soil that is there today is depleted of magnesium. So uh, magnesium glycinate is the most absor absorbable one. So glycinate before you go to bed. Uh, nitric oxide, I know you guys have heard about the nitric oxide talk earlier. I'm a big, big fan of nitric oxide. It's not just about the blood flow, it's also about the exchange. because. Uh, Really, you want to, you know, cellular generation of ATP and energy, right? Um, NAD, you heard of NAD, NMN, that's now we're talking about mitochondria health and, you know, we really want to produce more energy and ATP. Peptides, if you guys haven't heard about peptides, look into the amazing field of peptides. There's so many things you can do with it. Um, it's a, you know, bioregulator as well. Um, hormone optimization therapy, hot. You want to look hot and feel hot? Look at your hormones, okay? Don't need to be perimenopausal to do that. Um, uh, hot flashes? Hot flashes? <laughs> yes. Don't want those. <laughs> Low dose naltrexone. If you've never heard of LDN, amazing thing we're doing in functional medicine and it's been in utilization for years. So, you know, uh, regular naltrexone has a uh, different indication um, that they use. But low dose naltrexone is good for autoimmune, weight loss, autism, so many, many, many different things. So LDN Research Trust, if you want to know more about that, it actually calms down, it's an immunomodulator, so it helps calm, calm down the inflammation. Um, antioxidants such as Anato E, if you've never heard of that, that is one of my favorite molecule right now, is um, to, uh, tocotrienol, and it's actually patented as Anato E, you can Google that, um, some companies do make that. NAC is fabulous, it's a precursor of glutathione. Some people take glutathione directly. It is very unstable and it's not well absorbed unless it's liposomal. So you gotta look at the grade of the supplements that you're buying. Please don't buy anything from an uh, online company where you don't know where it's coming from. We've you know, seen many things that have been mislabeled. Get it from some a trusting source. You know, Invest a little bit and work with someone. Um, molecular hydrogen is a great antioxidant. Glutathione, astaxanthin. You can, you know, some people do NAC and glutathione together because NAC is the precursor, so your body is still, you know, producing its own internal make, um, making of glutathione. Um, it's very powerful. Gut restorative protocols, four bright biotics. You probably, if you work, walked around the, um, the exhibit floor, you probably ran into one of the companies out there, one of my favorite. And the reason being, you know, you can go over there and learn about that, um, is that you know, you're, not t you're not getting all kinds of different microorganisms in there because we're all different. 
How do you know that that probiotic is right for you? So hone in on that and you know look into the spore form. Um, gut restorative PRP, so anything to help you seal the gut because your gut lining is actually one cell layer thick. That's why it's so easy for people to have autoimmune now, nowadays because it just penetrates and then the food particles gets into your bloodstream and then your body, you know, start attacking itself. And you know what? The most important thing you're supposed to heal when you're sleeping, upgrade your sleep. My favorite thing. So, you know, uh, some of the, how to decrease inflammation while you sleep. So this technology is available now to all of us. If you're gonna make any kind of lifestyle modification, the easiest one to do is upgrade your sleep. Be grounded, protect yourself from um, things that would attack your cells and cause inflammation. The anti-aging bed, the mattress cover offer that. All you have to do is sleep for eight hours. You just sleep. You can use it on your, your uh, existing mattress if you want. You can buy a new mattress, but really and truly, I mean, that's the easiest thing that you can do, and it's a great start. And you're actually going to have, you know, you start with that, you have a biohacking lab right in your house. How amazing is that? And you don't really have to do much. What it's gonna do is grounding effect, and you guys know the benefit of grounding, it's like you know, sleeping on the, in the rainforest for, uh, ground for eight hours, but not all of us can fly to a remote island and be away from everything, so do it in your home. There's even a, um, a canopy cover that is um, silver technology as well that will block the EMF from even coming into your space. So your body can actually start healing itself. You can't biohack anything if you don't promote healing to the cellular and the mitochondria level. So you enhance ATP production, increase your energy. Who wouldn't want more energy, right? So instead of doing other stuff that is a stimulant, Work on the sh your at the cellular level because that's that's where it really is. Anti-aging technology is here to reverse aging and improving your sleep quality. And this is Healing at Home Anti-Aging Bag. It's the company that I'm here with. And one more slide, and it'll go. Okay. So uh, John had already went over this yesterday about the grounding EMF, and it also has far infrared, um, cellular, uh, cellular regeneration, antioxidant. So um, I'll tell you a story. So I've been, I was bugging John for a cover, and I finally got one because you know I was there from the very beginning, and I put it on my mattress, and I immediately felt a more restful sleep when I woke up. I didn't tell my husband. Don't you love it when you do things and you don't tell your husband just to see what he's going to do? I mean, I know how I feel and I know how it works. I did not tell him. So I put it on his bed or our bed, and then I let him go for about 10 to 14 days. And finally I said, he wasn't tossing and turning as much. And he, he just, he, I, he looked more peaceful, you know, but I don't know. So finally I asked him, I said, hey, how's your sleep? He goes, well, it's so much better. I said, really? Like yesterday or how long ago? He goes, ah, probably like the last week. I just feel, you know, I feel more rested. And then I told him, I said, oh, I put the anti-aging mattress cover on. And there you go. There's testimonial, testimonial from my husband. And he wasn't mad at me for purchasing the anti-aging anti bed cover. So we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for listening. And, and, you know, I'm glad you guys are here. But, you know, if I can tell you, if you learn anything, you know, from my presentation today, just address all of the foundation. And the easiest thing you can do is upgrade your sleep. I'm telling you, this is the beginning of the new way that people are going to upgrade their sleep. It is going to eventually be on every single bed, and the technology is going to get better and better and better. So be one of the first. Do it today, and we'll be at the booth. Thank you.